when we first made the song, we made it. It was cool. We liked it. We knew it was a good song, but we didn't realize how the kind of impact it was gonna have to our fans until we did Colors. I never even watched the video for real. I, I just, and I watched it now, but at the time, we was on tour, so I, we did it, we made it. It came out a few months later. I ain't think about it, bro. I'm always on go, bro. I'm always looking that way, you know what I'm saying? So like, I ain't think about it. I imagine Colors one day, hey man, this thing doing crazy numbers. Have you seen it? I'm like, what? I look, I'm like, oh, people like this? People like this shit. What? Funny shit about Up is we was talking about how up we was and niggas was actually- We record that bitch in the garage. In the garage, <laughs> in the spicy ass, hot yeah, ass garage, garage in Los bitch. Angeles. And we was like, you know what? This song is gonna take us to the next level. It's gonna be- We a, must yeah. manifest. It's the biggest speaker to existence well, we to must, happen in history. It must happen <laughs> right here, right now. Just another day in these filthy sweet Atlanta streets. Beach. Back on the greenback hunt. One for the money, two for the loot. You want to run with bulls, best tie your shoe. That boy Josh Norman hopped over that bull. That was the wildest thing I done seen in a long time, man. I ain't gonna hold you like, that was a wild thing, but I, I would definitely do that. I like, I like, first of all, I like big animals. I like riding horses, it lets you know how insignificant as a human you are. An elephant in the circus is one thing, but you see an elephant in this vast plain and it's just huge, you like, ah, oh, shit. I really don't want no issue, you know what I'm saying? I don't want no issue, so I like stuff like that. I, I, I relish being around animals like that that just had that power, you know? I make all your dreams and nightmares come true. I've got all that I want now, I've got you. We really could go either ways. Like, we don't want no smoke, but we got all the smoke. A lot of times niggas be like, you know, I don't, I don't really want no issue, bro. Like, and that don't mean you scared or nothing, but it's just like, man, I'm over here with my family, I'm chilling. But if we gotta have a problem, then we got to have a problem, you know? Now get back on your feet like giraffe, elephant, kangaroo. Can't come through these apartments unless you cool. Unless you know the who's who. Like in Atlanta, our projects, they only they only two, three stories, you know what I'm saying? Like they don't go 50 floors up here like, like up top. It's just a whole community in there, you know what I'm saying? It's a tight-knit community, a tight-knit village. So everybody know each other, and, and if you there, who you know here, bro? Like, like, can we help you? You know what I'm saying? If not, then you got, you got to leave, you got to leave soon. You got to have a pass, and you got to be connected when you move around the city like that. You're in my world now. I make the rules. I say who lives, I say who dies. I push the button, I save the kids, delete your crew, call me John Q, call me Olu. I wrote my verse, I was watching John Q on silent. And shout out to Denzel Washington cause he's one of my favorite actors. Like just the dedication, the time. And then he inserts himself into the role too. So you not you don't forget that it's Denzel. I just remember this man's intensity and what he what he meant and what he was trying to do by saving his son's life. Like this man held a whole hospital hostage. Like that's crazy. Bitches I've arrived, feeling on a high, flexing in the sky. Make whoopee, make way for the motherfucking guy, all right? Well, all right. See, I go loco for my freedom. It's the only thing that's real these days. No fear, no shame. Matter of fact, let's get this straight. I ain't no rapper, love. All our freedoms, are being like slowly stripped away because we being so distracted, one. And two, it's being done in such a remote place. So many policies are being passed that we think don't affect us because we don't ever see it. But like, we hired them people. We gotta make sure they doing their job. I would never hire nobody and just be like, all right, your room over there, you good. See, triumph come from dying some and joy come from crying. Sometimes healing come from killing. Killing is a part of life. You don't want to condone it, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes, it ain't even got to be the real killing. Sometimes it could be metaphorical killings, or it could be the real killing. Sometimes you got to make some type of sacrifices or you got to kind of, you got to protect yourself or whatever it is, you know, but like once old things die, you know what I'm saying? They fertilize the ground for new seeds, new things to grow. Rich shit, nigga shit, climb on up, die go. Rich shit, nigga shit, climb on up, Never fold. You could do whatever. You could floss out. You could live in the pal palace like Aladdin. You know what I'm saying? Aladdin ain't never forget who he was. You could be a prince. You could be a king. You know what I'm saying? But you remain humble. Those are my type of leaders. You know what I'm saying? The humble leader. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care. But like, just don't, just don't lose yourself, bro. 
Yeah, I'm up. You pussies thought that I was down. No, no, no. Said I'm up. I got it, got it, I got it, got it, I got it, got it. Said I'm up. La, 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 yeah, I'm up. Yeah! You're not up until you up, up, you dig? What, what Maxo say, you ain't really made nothing until you made eight figures? Like, he ain't never lie. You always going up in life if, if you growing, if you if you shedding, if you shedding your old and, and growing your new, you always going up. Okay, roll the dice. Baby need a new pair of shoes, famous overnight, huh? Nigga, them people don't care about you. Came up in the jungle, I gotta get my partners out the zoo. What's the price of love? I can't think about that. I got taxes due. Okay, roll the dice. I like some money, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, I do this shit to make some money. It's not, I'm not saying, I'm not shitting on, on an, an economy, but I'm just saying like, a force that goes with money, that goes with power, that goes with, that goes with all of it, that subtracts humanity from all of us. A super simplified way to say, shit, what's the price of love, nigga? Fuck the price of love, nigga. It's the price over here, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck that, nigga. I don't care what that costs. I got, this is actually something that, like, if I don't do this, I'm gonna die. So it's like, let me just not die. Fuck love, I just never know love, I just not die. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people, even subconsciously feel that way and they don't know why. Can't think about that, can't think about that, can't think about that. Pay dues, no more fake news. I'm gonna do everything that they said I can't do. So you can miss me with that artificial, baby. I ain't fooled by the filters or the angles. You don't know yourself. When you come into some wealth, you the type to let it change you. All I'm saying is make some money, don't let money make you. My first bread, bro, I need to spend on nothing good. Clothes and drugs, of course, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna rap, I'm gonna get some clothes and drugs. I remember I had one homie, bro, it was, the check was not even that big. I ain't gonna say what it was. It was like a cover band. You know you is, you my dog. I love you to death, but you know what you did. The nigga was like, hey, man. I was like, bro, when you gonna, when you gonna come through on this rent? Hey, man, you got it now, man. We good, we good. I was, my bread way better today, but I don't, niggas, I don't, I don't even show a little bit of that to niggas now. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Back then you had had my one flex in summer, and niggas was really like, whoo. Motherfuckers love to talk about all they ever wanted, like it ever mattered. When the ops just sitting back and collect the data. Oh, I bet you thought you were educated. I bet you thought you escaped the massa. Lying to yourself, you the greatest actor. That's just a classic old, you know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't really free, niggas think they free. We ain't really free. This record is about Finding a way to, to recognize that and still going for your freedom. A lot of people in, in today where they get their little degrees or whatever, they feel like they some they achieve some type of level of a uh, of mental fortitude or whatever because it's like yo I I, I did I, I sat in these classes and I took this time. But Beyonce say her her college was on the road. You know what I'm saying? Like she got she got she got her freedom through whatever she whatever mental process she had to take. And I think everybody has to take their own. Round of applause! Round of applause! Gemini's Two Face, Cancer got claws. But life is a cartoon that I did not draw. I'm taking hiatus, where the napalm? In Melbourne, I, I happened to, we was going shopping. I happened to be near a set of shops that uh, napalm from hiatus coyote was at. I just happened to see her. So I'm like, hey, yo, like trying to wave your attention. She looked up and then I guess she realized she didn't recognize me. So she like turned around and like start like soup walking hella fast to her truck. And I, I chased the truck cause I'm a super fan. So I like, I just was running. Yo, 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 I love you. I just want to tell you, I love you. I just want, you know what I'm saying? I'm on tour with J. Cole. We are, we are just, I just want to do that whole thing. And she's peeling off on my ass and it was worth it. I DM'd her afterwards, still waiting on a reply. What's up, Napalm, holla at your boy. <laughs> I always said that je ne sais quoi. Pull up on your bitch, like, excuse my French, fuck what you thought. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi, c'est soir, c'est soir, take no days off. No days off. Ain't no problem that I can't solve. What you made of? Voulez-vous coucher avec moi, c'est soir, c'est soir. That's Patti LaBelle. Well, that's French language, but that's Patti LaBelle put it into, into that uh, Lady Mama Live back in the day. My mama used to always play that shit all the time, and I just remembered that it means, uh, would you like to sleep with me tonight? I said two tonights. Cause like, I mean, tonight, tonight, I'm, a, I'm an artist, I gotta go. So it's tonight, tonight. <laughs> I do love the fans in Paris. Hip hop scene in Paris is cracking, bro. Them niggas love some, they just love music out there. You know what I'm saying? They turn up, they, they super turn up. Okay, yeah, Um, y'all just tell me when to shut up. Uh, But you gotta scream, shut up! If you don't scream, I'm not gonna stop. And if you don't, if you make me mad, I'm gonna fight you. So you gotta find a perfect balance. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta get right in the middle. <laughs>